Hey everybody, welcome to Michigan Out of Doors. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We've got a great show lined up for you. There are other things happening in the state of Michigan right now in the outdoor world other than deer hunting, but that is gonna take central stage on this week's show once again. I'm gonna take you to Northern Michigan on state land and show you what can happen on state property here in the state of Michigan. We're also gonna take you to the town of Indian River for one of the best buck poles in the state. Here's some good deer hunting stories, and I think we have time for a small bragging board segment as well. Our PBS stations are pledging right now, so our show is a little short, but it is jam-packed with all sorts of good stuff. You stay tuned. I'm Jimmy Gretzinger. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. From the first spring rains to the soft summer breeze Dancing on the pine forest floor The autumn colors catch your eyes Here come the crystal winter skies It's Michigan, Michigan Out of Doors What a beautiful day in the woods. Someday our children all will see This is their finest legacy wonder and the love of Michigan as the wind comes whispering through the trees the sweet smell of nature's in the air from the great lakes to the quiet stream shining like a sportsman's dream it's a love of Michigan we all share Michigan Out of Doors is presented by by Country Smokehouse a sportsman's destination since 1988 Featuring varieties of homemade sausage, jerky, brats, and gourmet entrees. Holiday gift boxes can be assembled in-store or online. Details at CountrySmokeHouse.com. By Discount Door Company, featuring residential and commercial garage doors. Door styles and build-your-own design tool available at DiscountDoorGR.com. Discount Door Company, serving West Michigan and the Grand Rapids area for over 25 years. By Hemisphere Design Works, a Muskegon manufacturer of sportsman's outdoor products for over 30 years, featuring the terrain line of hard-sided hunting blinds designed for quick setup and removal with quiet operation. For more information and other products, HemisphereDesignWorks.com. Soaking in the rich tradition of Michigan hunting for over 30 years, Vanguard is proud to sponsor our friends at Michigan Out of Doors TV. Well, everybody, we made it to deer camp. We're here in northern Michigan, just outside the Pigeon River State Forest. Uh, the closest town is Wolverine. Indian River's not too far away. And this is the cabin uh, that I grew up hunting in. Uh, we just arrived, getting trucks unpacked, and going to try to get out and uh, check a couple blinds here before, uh, before it gets dark. Uh, some of the guys have been up here for a few days scouting, so it is good to be in northern Michigan. And uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We've got a lot of snow up here. Uh, coming from the west side of the state, there wasn't much, but... Gosh, there's got to be six, eight inches at least in the woods. There's three or four hanging on the pines right now, so we're going to get in the woods and get after it. Uh, can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Getting back to the cabin you grew up in, well, it's always special, for many reasons. Of course, the memories are thick in the air, and hunts are told and retold every season. The years are marked by photos on the wall, and it's hard not to walk past them and reminisce on those old hunts. Of course, the old photos, they are the best, like this one of me at age 11. It's fun to think back how in those days it was my dad that took me to the woods. And in some small ways, those roles are starting to shift. But however you look at it, we better not waste any chances to again take to the woods opening day. Well, happy opener, everyone out there. I'm on state land here in northern Michigan. Uh, in the Pigeon River State Forest. And uh, boy, it's just a perfect morning. Cold, it's 15 degrees, no wind. And uh, I'm hunting in a spot that we don't get to scout it like we used to years ago. Guys have been up here several times a fall, but this has been traditionally a pretty good spot. Thought I'd roll the dice up here on state land. I finally saw some deer here on state land. I'm just leaning against a tree, sitting right on the ground. But I, that's, they came from the direction that I heard that grunt earlier this morning. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled back there because maybe that buck, if that was the dozy, was running around. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think my dad just shot. <laughs> It is a beautiful morning, and uh, I'm hoping that that was my dad. I don't know if you could hear it on the camera or not. I'll give him a minute or so, and then I'll head down there. But, <laughs> well, 
opening morning on state land. You never know what's going to happen, but gun went off. There's deer moving. It's a beautiful 15th so far. What happened? Well, I was just sitting there over here. I was coming, <coughs> coming across this way here, and I'd just seen three deers come through there, and then I saw this other guy. So the buck was following a couple of does? No, he was just following. Following them, okay. Yeah, and then he was. How far, how far of a shot? I haven't seen him yet. Um, 50 yards or so? Yeah. Wow. Well, let's go take a peek at him, young man. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Dad had a stroke a couple years back and can't quite communicate as good as he used to, but darn it, that old timer still can't shoot a buck. <laughs> uh, I got blood here. Oh my word. Let's see here. Oh my word, there he is down there. I can see the rack from here. Good grief. <laughs> you got me. You know, and I debated whether I should just sit with him or not this morning because we saw a lot of sign in here. Um, a lot of scratchings and whatnot. But I didn't want him to... He kind of wanted to sit on his own, which I get. But I never thought in a million years one would come down through this opening. Wow. Yeah, I bet that was about a 50 yard shot. And it looks like a nice, I'm guessing eight point. Boy, I can't believe you did it, young man. Nice job. <laughs> oh, let's go take a peek at it. That's awesome. Look at that blood. <laughs> nice job. You did great. All right, lead me to him, young man. I see him. I can see his rack from here. Well, you can see all of nice blood, yeah. I guess I should have sat with you. Yeah. Oh, Dad. That's a dandy. Holy cow. What a nice buck. Jeez. <laughs> Way to go, young man. Oh, what a nice buck. Holy cow, steak land. Nice big eight. You gotta be kidding me. So he was following some does, eh? No, he was just. Oh, just about. He came but through later, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Congratulations. That is one heck of a deer. Well, it was quite a morning here on state land in Sheboygan County. My dad had made a good shot, and I was happy to gut his deer for him. State land was all we knew growing up, and over the years, some spots still produce like here today. With the snow, we could find fresh sign. The acorns, well, that's what did this buck in today. The morning couldn't have been nicer, and with all day ahead of us, we started to drag out. It was one, well, I won't soon forget. Back at camp, the jaws all dropped when we rolled in with a nice eight point on opening morning. My plan was to hunt the evening hunt and then head to Indian River, where one of the best buck pulls in the state happens every year. Pat and Gary Sporting Goods has been doing this pull for almost 30 years, and as I rolled in, so did the bucks, and I was able to track down a few folks to tell their opening day stories from northern Michigan. Uh, my name's Ryan. I'm from uh, the Detroit area. I live here in uh, Indian River now. Okay. I've uh, been here for a while, though. All right, well, tell me what but, happened uh, with this deer. Well, I went to the property for the first time today, walked about a mile and a half back to uh, the spot, and just happened to go over enough ridges and uh, put in enough time and effort, and this bad boy came stepping out about 30 yards and went broadside, and 
Gave her a really? crack. So, so you were spotting stalking? Or were you yeah, like, I didn't nice. sit at all. I was walking the entire time. Wow, is that normally what you do? Or? Uh, yeah, I prefer to now. Okay, <laughs> I can see why. It's a little more entertaining. <laughs> so what, did you see him from a ways and sneak up on him or just pop in on you? Uh, no, he just popped in on me. I was trying to figure out where I wanted to go next. I got around a, kind of a beaver pond slash marsh and wanted to figure out, play the wind a little bit. And he just came out from the west on me and from about 100 yards out, and used that a pretty much a full trot, came right wow. in. And now, did I hear this is one of your first? Is this your first buck? Uh, first buck, yeah. First buck, well, congratulations. Yeah, yeah very, very happy about That's it. That's awesome. Uh, I'm Ashley Clymer, and I'm from Sheboygan. And Ashley, tell me what happened with this nice little spike today. Well, <laughs> sitting out in the blind, and it just uh, took forever coming in, and we found out one of our buddies was uh, trying to grunt call it. To his blind okay. <laughs> and luckily he came to mine and he just walked right in the field and turned broadside and just shot how far was he uh 40 yards yeah probably. 40 oh, yards nice yeah okay, so yeah. how many now yeah. you shoot a deer every year or is this no it's actually been 12 years for me really okay. <laughs> yep i shot my first buck a six point when i was 12 years old in the youth hunt okay so it's been a while and I'm glad I got one. <laughs> well, good for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sid and uh, I'm from Indian River. All right, Sid, tell me what happened with this nice buck today. Uh, well, I seen a doe come through and she got a little skittish and took off and uh, I barely seen him come through. He sneaked through following her and uh, once I seen him, I barely got a shot off. I had to actually shoot through the trees a little bit to get to a good shot for him. And uh, my first eight, so. First eight? 100, yeah. 150 pounds, too, so. 150, so he's on the bowl here. Yeah. Nice, and how far was the shot? Uh, about 30 yards. Okay, did you see him coming for quite a ways then? No, he snuck through the trees. Okay. And so he was, had a few more points when you got up to him than you thought, eh? Yeah, I thought it was a six, and then I went to go gut him. I noticed it was an eight, and I was pretty happy. <laughs> And uh, how, how many deer did you see today? Uh, just the two. Just the two? Okay. Yep. You hunt in this area quite a bit then? Or? I do. Okay. Do you think the deer up or down over here this year? Uh, the bucks, they seem bigger, okay. but it seems like a lot more, uh, you know, twins being born around here, so it's pretty nice. Well, congratulations. Thank you. The hunters had to pre-register their deer, which is free, and if they brought the deer into the weigh station, well, they're just about guaranteed some sort of a prize here tonight. Living in Wisconsin for about 20 years, I grew up here. Okay. And I come up every year to hunt with my dad. Nice. And I said about four o'clock, I had a little yearling come out. About 4.45, Doe followed her out, and about five minutes afterwards, he stepped out. I dropped him at straight up five o'clock. Really? How far was he away? Oh, 35 yards maybe. Okay, so you could see how big he was then, eh? Yeah, there was no mistake and there was horns on him. Oh, he's a I, had, I hadn't seen horns in probably 13 years. Really? So, <laughs> well, I can make a correction. The last one I saw that had horns looked like somebody glued thumbtacks on the ups, upside down on his head. They literally were, were that long and just came up to little points. So, wasn't even a shooter. So. Congratulations. Yeah. Take it out of their Got me out of my uh, out of my slum. And what's your name and where are you from? My name's Brad Knight. Uh, I live in Watertown, Wisconsin, but I grew up in Afton. Well, thanks and congratulations. Thank you. No, Ellison from Old Rain. And tell me what happened with this nice rock. We were sitting in a for a couple hours and uh, look across the field and he's moving about 300 yards going across the field and I got the gun up on him and pulled the trigger and my mom watched him buck up and then we went looking for a half hour later my mom shot at seven point and then yep and uh, so we went look for hers couldn't find any blood and we went my cousin met up with us and we went looking for mine found a bunch of blood tracked him for 200 yards found him in the river right on the edge he got caught up in some stuff we we're dragging my deer out of there, and we found my mom's deer. Oh, no so, way. Yeah, wow. pretty crazy. Now, how far was the shot for yours? 300 yards, 300? walking. Wow, what did you shoot him with? By a 300 mag. Nice, that's a great shot. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are you from? Dave Sherman from Sheboygan, Michigan. What happened with this nice buck today? Um, it just came in and stood there, so I had to shoot it. <laughs> what time of day? About 9 o'clock this morning. 
Okay, and how many deer did you see today? A lot of deer. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of deer out there. A couple other bucks I saw, but I couldn't get them in the scope. Okay, so this public or private ground? It's private. <laughs> Okay. Well, so how long did you see this guy before you shot? About 20 minutes. Oh, so you watched him for a while. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was debating whether to shoot him or not. Okay. <laughs> and how far was the shot? It was only about 50 yards, but I mean, what are you going to do? Northern Michigan and you got a 10 point standing out in front of you. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Yeah, you pull the trigger. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks. Well, it was time to start giving out the $17,000 in prizes tonight. The 2018 Pat Gary's Buck Pull Champion gets a, oh, a tick of P3 rifle with 3 by half by 10 scope. $1,500 value. Jason Ward, come on down! $179. Lots of great prizes here today, tons of folks. We had about 63 deer come in, which is a little slow, but still a great night. Yeah. My old buddy here bought the store back, and he says, Gary, let's have the buck pole down here. Yeah. 28 years later, we still got the buck pole down here. Just as soon as here. we used to be. Just as thin as ever. <laughs> <laughs> what a great night. Well, there was no more action at our camp over the next few days. A few more deer were seen, and this would be the only buck sighted. As my dad and I made our way south, we stopped at the check station in Reed City to see how the hunt was going. Um, basically, we, would, we need to know the location, uh, um, where they got the deer, and it's pretty important now with some of the diseases we're monitoring for that we get a okay. really accurate description of the county and township, but then um, ask them what day they get shot on. Um, and then uh, a lot of them do get the biological data. So we do the beam, the beam um, diameters, number of points, and then we age the deer through their the dentition, and so like the wear in their teeth. And um, um, so, so it's just a really good way to get a good handle from the from the public who's out there of what's going on. Yesterday we saw okay. 16, and today we're we're close to 40. Okay. So it's been yeah, it's been really busy, and it seems like a lot of people did really well on opening day with many bucks being two and a half years and over. So the dentine is a dark layer on top there that we'll be looking at and then I usually look back at this last tooth there to see the wear on there. I'd go with this one being four and a half years old. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Alright. <laughs> old deer for an old hunter. <laughs> Congratulations. This was an opener to remember. A perfect morning in the snow with my dad and a heck of a buck on state land. My takeaway was this, take someone new or take someone old. You just never know what can happen on opening day in Michigan's Out of Doors. Thanks for joining us this week for Michigan Out of Doors. Make sure you stick around on next week's episode. We're going to take a look at Jordan's footage from opening day of firearm deer season. He was able to spend some time with a young hunter who connected with an amazing buck. You won't want to miss next week's show. If you'd like to see what's happening in the world of Michigan Out of Doors television, you can always check us out online. We are on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also check us out on YouTube. All sorts of fun stuff to see there. If we don't see you online. We'll see you right back here next week on your PBS station for Michigan Out of Doors. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by by Greenstone Farm Credit Services, making recreational land ownership possible across Michigan and Northeast Wisconsin. 
Begin your land financing journey at one of Greenstone's 37 locations or greenstonefcs.com. By the locally owned and operated members of the Michigan Petroleum Association and the National Oil Heat Research Alliance, who provide oil heat with bioheat, a renewable fuel source designed to benefit the home and the environment. Details on the web at useoilheatmichigan.com. By Jay's Sporting Goods, with locations in Clare and Gaylord. Jay's has been serving the Michigan outdoor enthusiasts since 1971 with a wide variety of outdoor products. The gear, the knowledge, the tradition of Jay's. On the web at jaysportinggoods.com. By Showspan, producing consumer shows including the Ultimate Fishing Show Detroit, January 10th through the 13th at Novi Suburban Collection Showplace. The show features fishing tackle, trips, boats, and seminars from top pros. The Ultimate Fishing Show, Novi, January 10th through the 13th. Closed captioning provided by Marvo Mineral, makers of Lucky Buck, deer management products including minerals to supplement deer diets year-round to improve health and antler growth. When I want to far away, a dream stays with me night and day. It's the road that leads to my home state. I am a Michigan man. Changing seasons paint the scene like rain.